Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are, welcome to my channel. I missed the last few post dates and I'm so sorry. Every time I say like, oh, I'm back, something happens and then I miss some videos. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know exactly why. All last week I had like literally like a week long migraine and it was awful. So missed that and then I got a UTI. And today I have really bad cramps. So life is just like testing me. I woke up today and I was just like, my anger and crankiness level is like fully maxed out. And I didn't like realize why. Cause I was like, why am I so like, everything is so irritating. And then I realized I'm PMSing. So the only thing that makes me happy when I'm PMSing is food. So I went to the store, dodged everyone in my way and I got some ingredients because I've been craving this uh, like pasta salad that my mom used to make when I was in high school and it was so good and I'm prepping everything now and then I figured I'd share the recipe with you guys if you want to try super easy to make nothing complicated Ooh. I'm boiling my water right now first I'm gonna start cooking the pasta we're gonna do a full box of this bow tie pasta gosh PMSing is just on a different level today. I will say I'm like a very, very nice person and I pride myself on just being nice to people in general because you never know what someone's going through. But my gosh, today I had the bitchiest look on my face and I felt so bad, but like I physically couldn't help it. Like if you saw me at the store today, no you didn't. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed at how angry I look. Everyone's entitled to feeling their emotions. <laughs> it smells so good. So right now I'm gonna chop up some basil. I'll put the exact like measurements and everything down below if you guys wanna try. You know that sound on TikTok where it's like, oh, how I love being a woman. That sound just like played in my head as I'm using my can opener because how freaking cute is this? <laughs> oh my God. It's cute, but does it work? <laughs> I'm supposed to be like measuring things, but I'm just gonna kind of eye it because measuring stuff stresses me out I'm not really a math girly. So we're gonna eye it because that's all I do in life You know, we just kind of go with the flow <laughs> So the best part about this is you can kind of substitute things if you don't like certain things the full box of cooked pasta right here then we're gonna use some feta cheese or white beans and then we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there We have some chopped basil this is sun-dried tomatoes, but they come in like a glass jar with like the herbs and stuff. This is what the jar looks like, just for reference. And um, then we have some smoked turkey sausage. If you don't like that, you can put chicken, whatever kind of meat you want in there. And then we have arugula. And then we're just gonna dump it all in here, mix it up, and it's ready to go. Why is squeezing a lemon so hard? <gasps> but look how freaking good that looks. It is so hot in my apartment right now. It's 77, and I'm like, how? It's like 72 outside, I don't know why it's so hot. But I can't open the windows because it's like stupid windy outside. Like literally like you blow away. Here is my bowl that I'm so excited. You know when you're just like cranky and you just need to eat? That's me. Mm-hmm. I remember when my mom would make this in high school and I was always so excited. And I'd eat it like after school and stuff and it was so good. My true test to know if something really hits the spot is I'll do a little happy dance. <laughs> I need this. I can feel my body just being like fuel. I have a few things that I wanted to try on for you guys, but because I'm full, I'm gonna let my food digest for a second while I show you guys some interesting things. Um, yesterday, I went to a little like PR gifting room in Laguna Beach. It's like a little room and it has just like products from tons of different brands and you just kind of get one of everything. And I like to just try things and then if I like them, then I'll just organically share it with you guys. But I want to show you two of the things that kind of stuck out to me. Um, one are these little finger tattoos and I'm gonna try them in a little bit. I've always wanted finger tattoos, but I don't think I'll ever get it because I feel like I'll change my mind. I have five tattoos and I love them, but I like them because I can't see them because I know if I can see my tattoo at all times that I'm gonna get tired of it. So I have them in like random places. Like I have them like on the inside of my arm the back of my arm the back of my neck I'm um, like this you can see but like when I'm just like standing in the mirror I can't see it so I feel like I would get tired if I had finger tattoos but I just think they're so cute and I love when people have finger tattoos and these are all the ones on the back and apparently they last for two weeks so <laughs> and then the other thing I thought this was so weird and the sweet lady who was showing me <laughs> do this I looked at her like she was crazy and she kind of laughed because she knew I was like what the hell so this is a candle it's from butter London in uh, champagne fizz is what it's called it's an intensive nail and skin treatment candle I don't know if you guys have seen these before I have never never in my life seen this before it smells good 
And do you see how it's in the shape of like a little like teapot how it has the point at the end right here? You are supposed to light the candle and wait till, you know, like the wax starts melting. And then you just tip it over and you pour the hot wax on your hands and you just rub it together. And it's supposed to be like a little skin treatment. And she was doing it and I was like, doesn't that burn? And she's like, no. And I was like, you're pouring a hot candle wax on your hand and you don't have any expression whatsoever. Like she just did it so nonchalantly. So I was like, I need to try that. <laughs> I'm terrified, but like, I don't know. Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. But you know in like the Wolf of Wall Street movie when they're like dripping the candle he, and he's like freaking out and that's like what popped into my head because I was like, isn't that going to burn? Boom, apparently she said it feels good. An intensive nail and skin treatment. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. After I do a little try on haul, we're gonna try this because I really want to. In a little bit, I'm gonna go over to Danielle's house and we're gonna make cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and I'm gonna make her try this with me. <laughs> She doesn't know it, but um, yeah, we're gonna pour hot wax on each other. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys have ever heard of that. I just think it's so, I, I was shocked. Like my jaw was on the floor, it's still there. I have to go back and get it. A couple days ago, um, I got some little pieces in from Carbon38. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. What are you doing? I posted in this little olive green set. I took a little sunset walk with Danielle and this is what I wore. And then I had like a big jacket on and it was a vibe. I got a few of the things. I'm wearing one of them right now actually. So I'm gonna set the camera up so you can like see better and then I'll show you guys what I got. All right, we're fighting the light because the sun's going down. But first is this, let's see if I back up really far. <laughs> this is a like a little jumpsuit. It's literally just like leggings and a bra combined, which I love. It's super supportive, but it's super soft. It's like a stretchy cottony material. The seams are super cool. I think that's why it's like super flattering because it kind of goes like diagonal like that. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera and then the seam goes down like that. And then it kind of scoops down in the back a little bit. That was cute. I love pieces like this because I wore it with this like bigger jacket and then I had some of these sneakers. Pieces like this are fun. You can wear them just like street style, kind of dress it up, dress it down, or you can literally go work out in it. I'm so full. <laughs> I just tried to open up the blinds because the sun is going down so fast. I need a tan so bad. I'm like debating on just getting a spray tan. Okay, here's the next little piece I got. This is a little bra, like a more compressive piece underneath. So you could wear this to work out. And then this is like a stretchier layer over it. But I just think like the dimension and the straps are so fun. And then this one is adjustable in the back. And then I got these little bike shorts and they're high waisted and they're a ribbed material, which I like because when I go work out, I think the ribbed material helps the sweat not show through as much. But I just think they're super cute. I like finding like different types of sports bras just cause like sports bras can be so basic. So I liked the way this was styled. And then here is the little olivey green set I got. Um, I like the olive with the black too, so I'm gonna mix and match. Like these leggings with that bra or this bra with those shorts would be super cute too. I love these because this top part is like a thicker, like tight compression, so it kind of sucks everything in. But then all like down here is so buttery soft. So they're super comfortable, but the fact that they like suck everything in at the top is like a game changer. And the back of this bra is a little cute. I like that little opening. I love a good thick strap too, but yeah, this is it. This set I also bought as like a bundle. On the website, they have like preset like outfits that you can buy. So if you don't feel like picking out like little pieces together, then they have options where you can like get little outfits all in a little bundle. So that's what I did for this one. And they have a lot of cute things on there. So I'll link all these down below if you guys want to shop from Carbon38. I'm going to go ahead and put on my little black jumpsuit. And then we're going to get the cinnamon rolls and the hot wax candle and go over to Danielle's. Got to Danielle's house. Um, we're not going to be cooking the cinnamon rolls anymore because her man is coming home from work and she's going to make him dinner. There's just no time. I would cook them at home by myself, but I have this weird thing where I don't use my oven <laughs> unless I absolutely have to. Like a weird anxious fear of mine that I'm going to like start a fire so I only do it if someone's over or I'm at someone else's house I don't know why I literally need like moral support for using the oven so um the cinnamon rolls they're on hold for now but Danielle's a little nervous right now because I told her we're trying something and she doesn't know what it is so <laughs> put the candle in my bag so she doesn't see it until we sit down okay so we need two things so don't sit down yet we need 
a scissor and a lighter. <laughs> No, it's nothing crazy. Oh, I got it's a candle. It's a candle. Okay, so I got this at the gifting yesterday, and the lady showed me how to do it, and I literally was like, I don't know, I was freaking out, and she thought I was weird. So you're supposed to burn this, and you wait till the wax. And you drop the wax off, and it's oil. I knew you'd know what it is, but how does it not burn? What did you think? It's weird. It's just it doesn't burn. You like how? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it though. That is not normal you to said do a, that. You said a hand treatment, and I was like, yeah, exactly. How are you so calm? I think it's so freaky. It's supposed to be like a like in the bedroom type vibe too. Because the one I have is like a wellness like and you're supposed to like massage on your partner and like give them like a body massage with the uh, oil. I don't yeah. know how well, anyone to do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> we wait for this. Danielle's gonna help me go through my hinge DMs because I've been on for a while. I have a lot of matches, but it's like overwhelming <laughs> at this point. And I haven't messaged <laughs> Yeah. No, am I saying yes or no? Like I think would be a good match for you. Yeah, but it's hard because we don't have the same taste. At yeah, all. but you know, you know, like what's good for me no, <laughs> more than I know. More. Also, I have a fear of being like catfish because I was gonna go meet with one person and then we found his Instagram and then we were looking and realized that he posted really like old photos and he's not looking the same. So then we were just like, nah, because it was very like drastically different. Oh my God, there's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. You can't do anything. I don't, I don't like know. that. I don't know because sometimes I don't know what to like. Yeah, any guy who posts shirtless like, ab mirror selfie. Not good. In their <laughs> what is like this head extension? See? Wait, That's true. But he's like going like this. No, yeah. it's not like that. It's like <laughs> this is me, me hot. <laughs> Literally, the only person that I was like really gonna consider going on a date with is was fully catfishing me. So. I am happy that I'm not going crazy because this he is looks what I think. different in all three, four, like literally different in every photo. I know. What are you up to, wifey baby? Oh, yes, yeah, no. That one. <laughs> That's true. The thing is, is that I'm literally gonna start no, sweating. The thing is, is that she needs to match with people who aren't <laughs> taking mirror selfies without their shirt on mm -hmm. and doing the duck lips or like flexing in the camera. The vibes they give off aren't tool bag full of themselves. You no, know, someone. Yeah, like somebody like that type of photo, like standing in nature is like very cool. He seems cool. But here's the thing. She mm. needs help on her approach. <laughs> Not like, oh. would love to hear about this fist fight. Something like how. <laughs> Relationship. But then it's easier for you because you don't like give a fuck. Totally. That's why you're doing this and yeah, I'm sitting here exactly. so would like to hear about send. send. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with him? No, because he was the one. Those are all like literally 10 years old. He had gray hair in the photos. The guy. No, it was bad. Remember? Said you agreed with me. <sighs> he had. He had. These photos were like literally 10 years old. Like I scrolled. Are you into it or no? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Why is he sending this at 3:26 in the morning? Like, that's weird. That's a no. Happy Sunday, Carissa. Is a lazy, rainy day your perfect Sunday, or are you the type that gets after it on a Sunday? See, I just think that's so what lame. Do you mean? Oh, that's not looking good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have to eat food and gives a great massage. Oh my god, <laughs> she has to marry him. He gives massages. He said a beach day with you and snacks would be a dream. Oh, good lord. This is a potential. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dating me is like getting everything you've ever wanted. Mm. Mm. No, no. Oh, he likes my photo. <laughs> you like that, you, huh? You like, <laughs> That's it for now. I okay. can't do it anymore. <laughs> okay. You do it first. We'll you touch it here. Turn it. Really like. Ah! He scared me. No, do this. Oh, okay. It's not hot. No, but it's like a weird concept. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm really just warm. It is warm. Yeah. It's kind of nice. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Here, it is such a strange concept. I put way but too much nice. on, but it's fine. I would totally drip this all over my partner. <laughs> I like fully broke out in a sweat. I'm so hot. That makes me so nervous. I don't know why. Ugh. Just like talk to him for fun. We can talk to him for fun. But yeah. it, like, because it says guess my first concert, should we guess like Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> Yeah. You know what's funny is every time I am looking at their age, I have your voice in the back of my head saying, too young, too young. 
I tend to go for guys who are way younger than me and then uh, it ends up really badly. <laughs> so Danielle says that I can't date anyone who's younger than me, so. But would you go on a date with this guy? Are you attracted to him? Let me see. No. Okay, so then we're not gonna waste the time. No. There's been multiple people where the first photo will be like a couple and they're saying they're looking for like a third person to join and I'm like, mm. It's just so weird. I don't know. All right, so we've started a good conversation with a few people, so we'll let that you know sit for a sec, and then I'm gonna go back and we're gonna do some hand tests. Part of me had a feeling that she would already know about the candle. <laughs> I just think that's such a weird concept. But Max is doing laps around here. Hi, babe. What are you doing? Come here. I think Max has been a little extra clingy like the past like two days because we had an earthquake the other night. And it was kind of big. I hate earthquakes and my reaction, I don't think helped him at all. <laughs> so we've been sticking together. We were messaging a few people. We'll see, I don't know. No one has like really caught my eye. I'm just like, I just need to get like going on like a few dates just to just, you know, practice and break the ice. Like for myself, like rip the bandaid off, prove that it's not that scary. Cause right now I'm scared. <laughs> I need to distract myself and do something fun. I'm gonna do some finger tattoos inked by Danny. Get it wet and then you press and hold for 20 seconds. Here are all of the little tattoo options. I'm definitely gonna do like the moon. I like that one. The infinity. These are cute. I'm gonna go on Pinterest right now and look up some like finger tattoo inspo and then I'll just start slapping them on and see how I feel. Okay, now we wait. <laughs> it's a little off, but like it's okay. I'm gonna do like so many. <laughs> That's not too bad, but it, see how I put it right on my knuckle? That's like not don't do that. Okay, cute. Okay, this is my finished hand. I think these are so cute. I tried doing the other hand and they like were not going on properly for some reason, so I scrubbed them all off. <laughs> I'm only doing one hand tonight, but these are actually so cute. I keep like looking at them. I literally love tattoos so much, but I'm just so indecisive where I get them, so I don't think I'll ever get permanent finger tattoos, but for the meantime, these are so fun to play with. Also, when I was looking at them, they have a bunch of different like little packs. So you can get like different designs if you wanted to. I just think they're so cute. And then when these come off, then I'll put more on. <laughs> but I'm all done. And now I'm going to end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out like the recipe and the links for Carbon 38 down below. But I hope you guys have an amazing day. Spread good energy. You never know what someone's going through. Someone is racing down the street. That scared me. I love you all so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can see my next video. I love you.